So the first thing you have to do to get this to work is download or install SCP Toolkit. I'll put the link below, but after you install that, then you can you can install it. So for this one, I'll just use the DualShock 3, I'll find navigation controller, and then hit install. I've already got it installed, but um, what it will look like. Something like this. That's it. And then it will show up um, on the, as a joystick or as a controller, show up as an Xbox 360 controller that then you can use, um, which then Windows will recognize it as a controller, and then you can use XPatter to um, assign the keys, and then XPatter will convert those keys into a, a keyboard control. Once you have the software, then you can get the profiles for the navigation controller and for a couple of games that I have loaded on this GitHub page. I'll put the link below. Um, this kind of gives a little bit of instructions on how to use it. There's not a lot there. There's a lot more information out there on YouTube. Um, really need to do is just go to this page, and get this file, which is the the controller configuration file, and then these within each of these folders there is a profile for the game. So download all of those, um, and then you can open up XPatter. Looks like this after you get it set up, but to show what it looks like before setting it up, you um, it's, it starts off with something like this. Um, but if you just want to use those profiles, all you do is you just hit open, navigate to where that profile is. Station app controller dot controller load it up and um, if you don't have a game selected yet all of these will be blank I mean there will be buttons there but they'll all be blank and then if you want to load in a profile um, you can hit open and go to load in a profile. so this is the Battlefront 2 profile um, and then you can see on the controller you know when you're moving it and they'll how they light up um, and the rear triggers light up. Um, if you want to reassign any of these, for example, you just click on it and then you can either click on a new assignment on the keyboard or just click a key on the keyboard and it will do it automatically. Uh, and then just be sure to save it. And as long as this is open, then this will behave like a keyboard.